Hello my little cherry blossoms and welcome to the second episode of ZooCraft. We are back in the beautiful zoo crafting world and oh my goodness, I am so excited to get started today. This little bunny's been hanging around my house all morning. Yeah, I'm talking about you. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I just wanted to first and foremost thank you guys for the amazing amount of support we got on the first episode as someone who kind of uh, dropped off the face of the earth for a while and then came back and has been struggling to kind of get it, get my footing back into the community. It has been so, so uh, amazing to get such a warm welcome to the Zoo Crafting series again. And hello, little friend, may I help you? That's what I thought. <laughs> but without further ado, I wanted to go ahead and announce what we will be doing in this episode. I asked you guys on my Discord server what you guys wanted as the first habitat in our little area and what won the poll was wolves, but there were so many other ideas that you guys gave that were so, so good. So I just want to do some honorable mentions um, as a way of saying these will happen eventually. Do not worry. Uh, we will be making a fox enclosure. If there are foxes in, in the mods I have, I believe there are. Um, another one was the porcupine slash hedgehog, whatever this is. I, I, I still can't tell. I need to figure out. I think it's a hedgehog. I'm like 80% sure it's a hedgehog. You guys also wanted me to get Curly Fry Jr. And so we will be on a lookout for Curly Fry Jr. as well. Don't worry. And there were so many more. And if you guys want to be able to vote on that kind of stuff, uh, make sure to go to the link in my uh, description. It is my uh, link tree link. Go over there and then you can click on the Discord button and it'll take you directly to my Discord server. Um, let's go ahead and take a nap before we get started though with the day. <sighs> That's better. Beautiful view of the sunrise. It's kind of obstructed by a tree, but it's okay. I wanted to go ahead and smelt some of our iron as well as I realized that those were never filled. So I need to fill those. And we have some leftover glass panes, so it ended up working out. Anyway, there we go. There we go, awesome. That bugged me so bad. I hope it didn't bug you guys too bad um, when I was editing and noticing that I forgot to do that. So I hope that you guys aren't completely upset with me. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put the wolf habitat. Another reason why I asked if you guys wanted wolves, the pole itself was deer, wolves, or other. Um, I specifically asked those because I knew that in this habitat, wolves would make a lot of sense. So would deer, um, because they just kind of they fit this woodland kind of area very well. Um, I looked up a little bit of like what they need in a habitat in real life. Um, and there's a lot of different types of wolves and a lot of different types of habitats. Um, but a running theme is like a wooded area because they like to hunt. So uh, we will need a very big space of a fairly wooded area. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna collect some wood so that we have something to kind of keep them enclosed um, for the most part. I am also going to use glass though, so that if people are visiting our little zoo, they can also see the zoo animals. You're gonna be getting a home real soon, buddy. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You're be getting a home. Whoa, this tree actually looks really cool. Let me have its wood. I got a bunch of different comments in the last episode, and so I wanted to kind of answer some of them. I feel like that'll be a nice running section. It also will encourage you guys to comment because I love reading comments so much. It means the world to me to have like a lot of um, interaction with videos. It makes me feel like I get to know you guys more personally. And last episode had a lot of interaction. So I thought it'd be perfect to kind of answer some of the comments that were on the last episode. Okay, so the first comment I'm gonna be answering is, could we put a, put a frog in the zoo? Um, so we totally could put a frog in the zoo. Um, if there are frogs in the mods I have, I'm pretty sure there are. So yeah, no, there could totally be a frog exhibit in the zoo. We'd have to just find probably a jungly type of biome. I feel like that'd be the best for them. Um, but yeah, no, we could totally do that. That would be a very cute exhibit. Next comment I've already kind of responded to. Oh, wolf, why are you? Okay, this is why we need an exhibit. We need a place to put them where they can be fed humanely. <gasps> curly fry! Oh my god, wait! It's literally curly fry. I don't have anything to attract you though. Oh no! Please don't get eaten. Please, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. Oh my god, it's a big cow. What up, buddy? Next comment was, I want to see Curly Fry back, so I vote pigs. And I completely understand that vote. I want to I want to have Curly Fry back too, so I will definitely be doing a pig habitat eventually as well. One of you guys asked um, what mods I'm using for this. So I actually don't remember. I got a lot of different mods, um, but I will go through them um, as soon as I get the chance. And so there will be like a mod list, an official mod list for you guys. So you guys can, if you guys wanted to, also have a ZooCraft series in your own 
own world and uh, have the same mods as me. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have like a zoo craft community going on, almost like an SMP, but not on a server, just kind of us all hanging out, but through through videos and stuff. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I feel like we have plenty of wood to be able to make our habitat now, and we will obviously expand later on, but we're just gonna start with our basic habitat so that we have a place to put the in. Oh my God. These dang wolves need their own house, I swear. They're, they're messing up all the other animals' lives. How dare. Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so I wanna go ahead and make these into fences. Um, I'm thinking of just doing a basic fence, uh, but doing it, uh, uh, mm, actually, I'm not sure. Part of me wants to do fences. Part of me wants to have it be just regular wood planks um, and then have like a glass section of the wall. Um, I think we're going to do that, actually. I'm going to get some more dark oak wood, though, because I kind of want to have dark oak wood be like the accent pieces of the walls and like the the actual wood not the planks the logs themselves because we're fancy in these woods okay i'm not trying i'm trying not to cut down too many trees i can always plant them back obviously because saplings fall um but i i want it to i want it to you know be pretty pretty open um for me to be able to place the stuff but i also want trees because it's supposed to be a woodsy area so you know that's a little bit of a dilemma we have going on okay so i think we're gonna have like a main path going down from the house and over to jessa's house over here um and so we're gonna have like those connect and then we'll probably have like another path going through here let's cut down this tree and then we could have it like over here okay so let's do that so i think we're gonna have like a glass looksy area right here we'll make it about yay wide oh no i got stuck under a tree and obviously this habitat will be bigger later on um it won't be as big as it will be in the end um right now just because resources and we won't have as many animals in it immediately as we will later on and stuff like that so do not worry they will be getting more space down the line goat you might want to get out of here just a hunch okay i don't think they'll be able to get out now besides obviously the gaping hole in the wall that is going to be glass i think i might go ahead and make it just one higher all around just to make sure nothing gets in that's not supposed to be in and nothing gets out that's supposed to be out oh no it's getting dark i should probably head home let's go ahead back to the cabin and take a quick nap Oh my god, it was a cockadoodle doo That's so cute. Oh my god, was that you? That's so adorable. I love that. I love that that's the way we have awoken. Oh, I heard some growling. Oh no, I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, you're right here. Get out of here. There we go. Goat, again, you probably want to skedaddle. And then let's get the glass, and then we'll also make a door right here. Actually, I feel like the door shouldn't be as visible to the main path. It should probably be around the, the back, just like right over here. Because you don't want to tempt the visitors to go into the door. I feel like that's a that's a no-no. That is a staff-only room. Thank you very much. We'll grab some of this glass. I doubt it'll be enough. We'll probably have to smelt some more sand, but it'll be a good start. <laughs> good start, okay. <laughs> And as we progress as well, the habitats will be able to be a lot more pretty as well. So do not worry. Grab this iron. Let's make ourselves some booties. Some cute little booties. Just little booties. I don't really want to cover up my skin, but I also want to be a little bit more protected. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some sand. Can we jump down? Whee! <laughs> grab all this. Oh no, we're gonna drown. Get back up. Okay. It's so much harder to just be underwater at all without the aquatic update, jeez. Okay, I think 23 is enough. If we need to get more though, we can always come back. These flowers are so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and smelt our sand. I don't know why I went straight over to the exhibit like the sand was the glass. Um, we shall fix that. <laughs> I do believe we're gonna run out of coal eventually though. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I think I'm gonna make some charcoal probably. 
if we run out of coal. Or I guess we could go mine real quick. Let's go mine real quick. I feel like we're constantly bumping our head on the roof during this journey downward. Ooh, iron. Not what we were trying to find, but I'll still take it. And more iron, geez, okay. Could we find some coal, please, Minecraft gods? Just a, just a little bit, please? Oh no, we have hit gravel. And more iron. I have a feeling we should be digging higher. Let's dig a smidge higher. Let's dig around this level. Not sure if we're gonna find anything, but might as well keep digging. I don't think we're having any luck down here, so let's go ahead and go back up to surface. Looks like charcoal is going to be our best bit. That, or I guess we could also do coal on a surface. <gasps> Little chicks are so cute. We could scavenge for coal like we did the other day. I can't wait to get like a better lay of the land so we can actually like explore more and not get completely lost. Oh, it smelted it all. Awesome. We did run out of coal while we did it, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. I guess finished is the better terminology. Let's finish this wall. Yay, it's finished. Nice, okay, I am, I think I am going to make this one block higher on both sides though to make it even. There we go. Awesome, and we could even like do that if we wanted to. I think we will. There we go. Nice, awesome. We have started our first habitat. Our zoo's getting started, guys. I'm so proud of us. Okay, so wolves also like areas to hide, right? They like caves and stuff. I don't know if that's accurate or if that's just like what I have heard that is actually a lie. Let's make them just a little hidey hole, just in case. I think that'll be good. We'll put a little light in here though, so that no mobs spawn in here. Put them under all the trees so our little friends are not ambushed by zombies. There we go. Put some in this corner too. And we'll pretend like they're uh, solar. So they, they, they go off when they need to sleep or something, I don't know. We do need a door, which we do have leftover dark oak. Um, we might use a regular oak door, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll just use the dark oak door for now. We might replace it later though, with just like a birch door or something. Oh goodness, that was the entirely wrong block. Nice, I also wanna make a sign that says employees only. I think it looks nice in here. I don't think there are any animals stuck in here from the looks of it. Um, that'll be the wolves lunch. I think we're good to go ahead and now get some wolves, so. Sadly, what we have to do to get the wolves is I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to slaughter some animals. Um, but we do have raw prime rabbit from the wolves themselves doing it, so we might be able to use that instead to lure the wolves to their new habitat. We'll probably start with two wolves and then probably breed them and then bring in more wolves later on. Let's go ahead and make a sign for the employees only sign. Let's make this say zoo Keeper, goodness gracious, Izumi's cabin. There we go. <laughs> Zookeeper Izumi's cabin. Zookeepers only. There we go. Gotta keep the animals safe. Okay, let's try to find a rabbit. I mean, not a rabbit. Let's try to find a wolf. <laughs> Uh, wolfies, where are you? You've been slaughtering all the animals nearby, so I know you exist. One thing I will be buying from Jessa that I will not be able to find very easily through my own means is a name tag so that my animals do not despawn because I feel like that's just basic, uh, what I will be needing. This area is so pretty. Oh, very pretty. Wolfies, where are you? We might have to adopt them from Jessa if we can't find them. I know they exist somewhere near here though. Well, we can go ahead and get started on our next habitat while we wait to see some. The next habitat we will be building will be the fox habitat. Let me know what you guys would like after the fox habitat in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and talk with Jessa off camera and figure out if we need to order the foxes or if they even exist in this version of Minecraft with the mods I have. If they do not, I will be doing the next runner up option and I hope you guys like that as well. I hope you all enjoyed the video, bye.